My name is Randy Roberts, and I'm the organist at the Iowa State Fair Horse Show. My first uh, Iowa State Fair was in 1971, and I remember that because I had just graduated from college and was going to teach school up in Mallard. Uh, and so I think I've been there every year since, and it's just a fun time. I enjoy getting my contract in the mail and knowing that I'm going to be back there again. You know, the thing that I enjoy about the Iowa State Fair is you see a lot of the same people year after year. When, we, when I started playing, I was over in the pavilion and I would see people, they'd always tend to sit in the same sections every year, you know, and I almost got to know them after, because a lot of these people will attend, you know, all 12 days of the fair, horse shows, and, uh, and they always stop by and say hi. I only play for horse shows. I travel all over the country. My, I've done shows on the West Coast. I do them in Arizona. I've been in Texas this year. I just came back from New Hampshire last week. So I kind of get all over the place, you know. Years ago, uh, my brother used to show horses in Iowa. I grew up in Northwest Iowa. And I was taking organ lessons. And uh, some friends of my parents were putting on a little one day fun day type horse show and wanted to know if I would bring the organ out and play for it. And I agreed to do it and it just kind of went from there. I think they want to have some kind of background music of some kind just so it's not dead all the time. And I really don't know if I play for the horses or if I play for the spectators or who I play for, but um, when I am playing, I like to try to um, have songs that will keep in the same gates or same tempo as what the horses are performing at. You know, so if they're trotting, I play a little faster than when they walk, and I slow down and I do the canter music. And to be real honest, I had three hernia surgeries while I was on the organ because I had a pickup that I would um, load the thing into, and so I had to get in the back to pick up, bend down, lift it up, which is probably not the best for me, but um, that's what I did. And it got to the point where I needed a new truck to drive, and I thought, oh gosh, I wanna buy a new truck to keep doing this, and, or whatever. So then I had this idea, maybe I should try a keyboard. And I knew I would give up a lot of sound quality, because I had a Hammond B3, which is the top of the line organs as far as I was concerned. Um, but it, the convenience was so much better. and. I, when I go to the West Coast, East Coast, wherever, I fly the keyboard uh, out there ahead of time. It, hopefully it meets me at the hotel. And, uh, you know, I just plug into their sound system and away we go. So it's, I've been able to do more shows because I've gotten to the keyboard. Showing at the trot, at the trot, please. Probably the people, you know, that uh, either I work with or some of the exhibitors, we get to know each other because a lot of us go to the same shows. You know, and uh, we just have a, a fun time. It's just fun. So I think the people is what do it. I do enjoy the horses, but the people is really what keeps me going, I guess.